Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about subtracting mixed numbers from a whole number. By the way, guys, if you're watching from Facebook, you can visit our YouTube channel, Math Teacher Gon, for more tutorial videos. So without further ado, let's do this topic. What we have here is item number 1, 7 minus 2 and 5 over 8. As you can see, we will try to subtract this mixed number from this whole number. There are plenty of ways on how to do this, but I will try to teach you the fastest way on how to do this. And even you can do this mentally. So in other cases, they are converting this one into improper fraction. But in this tutorial video, I think we natin. First, we will break down 7 into 6 plus 1. Ang target kasi natin dito is to convert 7 into a mixed number for us to directly subtract 2 and 5 over 8. So what will happen here? This one will serve as a fraction. We will convert this whole number 1 into a fraction. So remember, if we're, go if we're gonna convert this into 8, over 8, 8 over 8 is the same as 1 because 8 divided by 8 is 1. So why did I choose 8 over 8? I chose 8 over 8 because of the of this denominator. Okay? You will copy the denominator and it will serve as the numerator and denominator of your new fraction. And then I will attach this whole number 6 and it became 6 and 8 over over 8. Don't worry guys, the 6 and 8 over 8 is the same as 7. Again, let's have a recap. Pinagiwalay natin yung 7 into 6 plus 1 and then this whole number 1 is converted into a fraction 8 over 8 because of your denominator 8. So in this case, you can copy this one minus 2 and 5 over 8. As you can see, we can directly subtract the whole numbers, 6 minus 2, that is equal to 4. And then for the numerator, we have 8 minus 5, that is equal to 3. Over, copy your similar denominator, which is equal to 8. And this is now the answer, 4 and 3 over 8. Now let's move on with item number 2 for you to realize more about this topic. We have 10 minus 5 and 4 over 5. We will convert this into this one. 9 plus 1. And this whole number 1 will be converted into fraction. And look at your denominator, denominator 5. Meaning, this one will be converted into 5 over 5. And then copy the whole number 9. So what we have now is 9 and 5 over 5 that is equivalent to 10. Then copy minus 5 and 4 over 5. So let's now begin subtracting the whole numbers. 9 minus 5 that is equal to 4. And for the fractional part, Subtract natin itong dalawang ito. 5 minus 4, that is equal to 1, over, copy your common denominator 5. And as you can see, the correct answer in subtracting 10 and 5 and 4 over 5 is simply 4 and 1 over 5. Now let's move on with the third example. For the third example, we have 2 minus 1 over 1 third. This will be, will be converted into 1 plus 1. This one will be converted into 3 over 3 because of your denominator in the 3. Then attach this whole number 1. Copy minus... 1 and 1 third. 
Let us subtract the whole numbers. 1 minus 1 is 0. So no need to write any whole number because that is equal to 0. Our main problem now is this fraction. 3 minus 1, which is equal to 2, over your denominator, which is equal to 3. Meaning, the correct answer in item number 3 is simply 2 over 3. So I hope guys you learned something from this video on how to subtract mixed numbers from a whole number. In this case, I will give you this task to answer number 4, 8 minus 3 and 7 over 9. And I hope na mag-comment ka or makita ko sa ating comment section what is your answer for this problem. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe but hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gorn. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!